ओम शांति मुरली डेट लेवेंथ नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन द मोर यू रिमेंबर द फादर द मोर द लॉक्स ऑन योर इंटलेक्स विल ओपन दोज हु रिपीडेटली फर्गेट टू हैव रिमेंबरेंस ऑफ द फादर आर अनलकी चिल्ड्रेन क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द बेसिस ऑफ एक्यूमलेटिंग इन योर अकाउंट वॉट ब्रिंग्स द ग्रेटेस्ट इनकम आंसर यू एक्यूमलेट इन योर अकाउंट बाई डोनेटिंग टू वॉट एवर एक्सटेंट यू गिव द फॉर्दर्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू अदर्स टू दैट एक्सटेंट योर इनकम इनक्रीजेज You earn a huge income by studying the murlis. These murlis change you from ugly to beautiful. There is godly magic in each murli. It is by studying the murli that you become very wealthy. Song, we have to follow the path on which. we fall and so had to be cautious om shanti the spiritual father explains to you children children you have to fall and so we have to be cautious to forget the father repeatedly means to fall and to remember the father is to be cautious maya makes you forget the father this is a new aspect in fact no one can ever forget this father a wife would never forget her husband as soon as they become engaged their intellect yoga is connected to one another there is no question of forgetting a husband is a husband and a father is a father now this one is the incorporeal father and is also called the bridegroom devotees are called brides at this time all are devotees whereas there is only the one god devotees are called brides and god is called the bridegroom similarly devotees are called children and god is called the father now the husband of all the husbands and the father of all fathers is one the supreme soul is in fact the father of even single soul whereas each one has their own individual father individual physical father that supreme father from beyond is the only one god the father of all souls his name is shiv baba if you simply address an envelope god the father mount abu would your letter arrive here you have to write the name on it that one is the unlimited father his name is shiva people talk about shiva shiva kashi there is a shiva temple there surely he must have been there too they show that rama went here and there and that gandhi went here and there so it is true that there is an image of shiva baba here and there however he is incorporeal he is called 
the father no one else can be called the father of all he is also the father of brahma vishnu and shankar his name is shiva there is a temple to him at kashi and there is also a temple in ujjain no one knows why so many temples have been built to him similarly early those who worship lakshmi and narayan say that they were the masters of heaven but no one knows when heaven existed or how they became the masters of it if worshippers do not know the occupation of the ones they worship they are called those with blind faith here too some of you say baba you still don't have full recognition you don't know the mother and father the worshippers of lakshmi and narayan worship them they also go to the temple of shiva and praise him and sing you are the mother and father however they don't know how he is their mother and father or when he became that the people of bharat do not understand anything at all christians and buddhists extra remain christ and buddha they can instantly tell you their biography their christ came at such and such a time to establish the christian religion whereas the people of bharat do not know anything about the ones they worship they don't know anything about shiva nor do they know brahma vishnu or shankar or the world mother jagadamba or the world father or lakshmi or narayan they just continue to worship them they don't know anything about their biographies the father sits here and explains to souls when you were in the golden age you souls and your bodies were both pure you used to rule there you know that you truly ruled there then while taking rebirth and experiencing 84 births you lost that kingdom and from being beautiful you became ugly you were beautiful but have now become ugly nowadays they make narayan's picture dark blue too to show that krishna was narayan however people don't understand thing, these things at all the yadavas were the ones who invented the missiles and the kauravas and the pandavas were brothers those brothers were devilish whereas these brothers are divine these brothers are used to be devilish however the father made them elevated and made them divine brothers so what happened to the two sets of brothers there was definitely victory for the pandavas whereas the kauravas were destroyed while sitting here although some say mamma and baba they don't know them they do not follow the father's shrimat they don't know that baba is teaching them raj yoga they are not able to maintain that faith because of being body conscious they remember their bodily friends and relatives etc 
because of being body conscious they remember their bodily friends and relatives etc you here you have to remember bodiless father this is a new aspect that no human being is able to explain even while sitting here with the mother and father some of you don't recognize him this is a wonder although they have taken birth here they don't recognize him because he is incorporeal they are not able to understand him clearly then because they don't follow his directions they become those who run away even after having been amazed by the knowledge if they do not recognize the one who gives them the inheritance of heaven for 21 births they run away those who recognize the father are said to be fortunate it is only the one father who liberates everyone from sorrow there is a great deal of sorrow in the world in any case this kingdom is corrupt according to the drama after 5000 years there will again be the same corrupt world the father will then come again to establish the pure and elevated kingdom of self sovereignty of the golden age you have come here to become deities from human beings this is a world of human beings the world of deities exists in the golden age here there are impure human beings pure deities exist in the golden age only those who become brahmins have this explained to them those who become brahmins will continue to receive explanations not everyone will become a brahmin those who become brahmins are the ones who will later become deities if they don't become brahmins they cannot become deities once they say mamma and baba they enter the brahmin clan everything else then depends on how much effort they make to study a kingdom is been established abraham and buddha etc do not establish a kingdom christ came alone and entered someone's body to establish the christian religion then the souls who belong to the christian religion continue to follow him down from up above all the christian souls are now here now at the end everyone has to go back home the father becomes the guide for everyone and liberates them from sorrow the father is the liberator and the guide for the whole of the humanity he will take all souls back souls cannot return home because they are impure the incorporeal world is pure this corporeal world is now impure now you can pay purify them all so that they can return to the incorporeal world this is why they called they call out o god the father come god the father comes and tells us that he only comes once when the world, whole world has become corrupt they continue to make so many bullets and bombs etc in order to kill one another 
on the one hand they are making bombs and on the other hand there will be natural calamities floods and earthquakes etc lightning will flash and people will fall ill because fertilizers has to be made fertilizer is usually made out of rubbish the whole of this world is going to need manure in order to produce first class crops only bharat existed in the golden age so many are now going to be destroyed the father says i come to establish the deity kingdom everything else is to be destroyed and you will then go to heaven everyone remembers heaven but no one knows what heaven is when someone dies they say that he has gone to heaven oh but if someone dies in the iron age he would surely take rebirth in the iron age some don't even have this much sense although they give themselves such titles as doctor of philosophy etc they don't understand anything human beings used to be worthy of living in a temple that was the ocean of milk whereas it is now the ocean of poison it is a father who explains all of these things he teaches human beings he doesn't teach animals the father explains this drama is predestined as is a worthy as is a wealthy person so is his for furniture as is a wealthy person so is his furniture the poor have clay pots whereas wealthy would have so many material possessions you are wealthy in the golden age and so you have palaces of gold and diamonds there is ne- neither dirt etc there nor any bad odors here there are bad odors this is why incense sticks are lit there there is natural fragrance of flowers etc there is no need to light incense sticks there it is called heaven the father is teaching you in order to te in order to make you into the masters of heaven just look how ordinary he is you even forget to remember such a father you forget him because you don't have full faith it is a matter of such misfortune to forget the mother and father from whom you receive your inheritance of heaven the father comes and makes you the highest of all if you do not follow the directions of such a mother and father you would be considered to be 100% most unlucky everyone will be number wise there is such a huge difference between becoming a master of the world by studying and by and becoming a maid or servant you can understand to what extent you are studying elsewhere founders of religions come to establish their religions whereas here there is a mother and father because this is a family path 
it is used to be a pure family path and it is now an impure family path when lakshmi and narayan were pure their children were also pure you understand what you will be you will become you understand what you will become the mother and father makes you so elevated and so you should follow him it is bharat that is called the mother father country in the golden age everyone was pure whereas here everyone is impure everything is explained so clearly to you yet you do not remember the father and so the locks on your intellects remain closed although you listen you renounce this study the locks on your intellects become completely locked in schools too they are number wise reference is made to a stone intellect and a divine intellect those with stone intellects do not understand anything because they don't remember the father for even 5 minutes out of the whole day if they were to remember him for 5 minutes the locks on their intellects would open that much if they were to remember him more the locks would open fully everything depends on remembrance some children write a letter to baba addressed dear baba or dear dada now if you simply address the letter to dear dada and post it would it arrive here you you definitely need to write the name there are many dadas and dadis in the in the world acha today is dipavali people open new accounts at dipavali you are true brahmins those brahmin priests make businessmen open new accounts you also have to keep new accounts but these are for the new world the accounts of the path of devotion are of unlimited loss you attain the unlimited inheritance and you attain unlimited peace and happiness the unlimited father sits here and explains these unlimited aspects but only the children who are to receive unlimited happiness are able to understand all of these things only a handful out of multi millions come to the father some while moving along start to lose their in- income then whatever they have accumulated is cancelled your account increases when you donate to others if you do not donate your income does not increase you are making effort to increase your income that will only happen when you donate to others and enable them to receive benefit to give the fathers introduction to someone means to accumulate if you do not give the fathers introduction you do not accumulate anything your income is extremely great you can earn a true income by studying the murlis but you need to know whose murlis they are you children also know that those who become ugly have to 
listen to the murlis in order to become beautiful there is magic in your murli they speak of god's magic so there is godly magic in these murlis it is now that you have this knowledge deities did not have this knowledge since they didn't have this knowledge how could those who come after them have this knowledge all the scriptures that were written later on will be destroyed there are very few of your true geetas whereas those in the world must number hundreds of thousands in fact if in fact it is these pictures that are the true geeta people are not able to understand as much from those geetas as they can from these pictures acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point study very well and make yourself fortunate in order to become a dt become a firm brahmin second point in order to remember the bodyless father become soul conscious practice forgetting your body blessing may you be yog yukt and remain beyond body consciousness by constantly considering yourself to be a co-charioter and a detached observer the easy way to become yog yukt is to move along while constantly considering yourself to be a co-charioter and a detached observer i the soul am the one who drives this chariot this awareness automatically makes you detached from your chariot when you do not have any body consciousness you easily become yogyo and every action you perform will be yukti yukt by considering yourself to be a coach charioter all your physical senses will stay under your control such a soul is not controlled by his physical senses slogan in order to be a victorious soul make paying attention and practicing this your original sanskars om shanti thank you baba thank you